Riverside County's public health officer says that people do not socially distance well inside of bars, that they're also one of the hardest environments to trace contacts in, and that he hopes more closures are not needed. The bartenders just got back to work two weeks ago, handcrafting cocktails at lobby in downtown Riverside. But once again, they have to shut the bar down. We're going to do it because that's what we have to do. Owner Rex Ritchie just opened the place a week before the first coronavirus closure. It's rough to ask people to leave their job they had before, come work for you, and then not have work for them. He had to furlough all of those brand new employees for months. Luckily, Lobby also serves food. So this time around, their dining room can stay open. But closing the bar again is still a devastating blow to their bottom line. It's probably 60% of our revenue comes through the seating at the bar. Riverside County's public health officer, Dr. Cameron Kaiser, ordered bars to close again following a recommendation from the governor. And with intensive care beds in the county approaching 99% capacity, health officials say they're worried about being inundated with new COVID-19 patients. Keep them scared. That, that's what I honestly feel. Arthur Espinoza doesn't buy it. He says he felt extremely safe inside Brickwood, a different bar in downtown Riverside that doesn't serve food, so it will have to close down entirely. Employees here say they're trying to be optimistic, but they worry about how long they'll be out of work again. I don't like that personally because, you know, they, they depend on their tips and they depend on, you know, us enjoying ourselves and um, intermingling. This interaction with, with our employees you know, the relationships they build. Rex wonders what's next in this second shutdown and how long these bars can last. Time will tell. We're going to do our best. And bars that also offer food are still allowed to sell alcohol, but only if it's on the same ticket as a meal. Reporting in Riverside, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.